All right, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to a Minecraft chill stream. Um, if you remember last time, I went on an epic adventure. I was exploring the northeastern part of the map, and as I was doing so, I discovered a pillager outpost, as well as apparently, which I didn't know at the time, a new village was near the pillager outpost, but I had no freaking clue at the time, okay? Um, so that being said... Here we are now, and when I came back to my, my base, I said, gee, I'm going to go to the other village that I knew was on my map and try to explore it. And sadly, it was an old-style village. didn't have any of the new features or anything that I would have wanted to explore. So it was pretty disappointing in that regard. So what I want to do tonight on this new stream of Minecraft, I want to focus in, and I basically want to get to the pillager outpost and fight them and try to clear them out. And once they're cleared out... Then what I need to do is, I believe, drink a bucket of milk to clear out any negative effects. There's this new weird system in the game called Bad Omen. That if you kill the pillagers, you get a bad omen. If you walk into one of the new villages, you become a raid uh, quest. Where basically they just keep attacking you in waves. I don't want to deal with that tonight. What I want to do is basically take out the pillagers. And then I want to check out the new village and see interacting with these new villagers. Ooh, I give them some emeralds, kind of level them up. Where's their, their pillager... Uh, leveling up uh, you know how they have the little leveling tables or whatever i just want to figure out exactly where it is and what i can do with it all right and kind of mess around with it that's kind of the goal for tonight's minecraft stream and anything else that happens along the way is great but i definitely want to, to try to focus on that okay um so what i'm going to do in just a moment i'm going to prepare for the journey back out to the northeast to see if we can find this area fair enough a few shout outs here uh, uh, aragorio just reset for five months in a row he said, I used to love your wrestling podcast. I would love to, to hear a rundown of what you think of WWE right now. Who's your favorite and who's your least? I'll be very honest with you, Aragorio. It's not like it used to be. Back in the day, when I was doing Smart Guys, the co-op wrestling commentary show, I was very heavily into wrestling to the point where, I'm not even kidding, every show I would take notes of what happened in each segment, what I thought about each segment, so that when I did my wrestling podcast once a week, I could outline the major shows, and I could tell you what I thought, and it was like a bit, I was a professional reviewer, a critic, right? That was the purpose of the show. Um, I'm not like that anymore. Now when I watch wrestling, I basically just relax and I roll with it. First of all, I don't even watch the full shows. I have Hulu, which shows the abridged shows. So a lot of the times, like Monday Night Raw, I'm only seeing like a third of the show that cuts out the ads, cuts out the filler. I don't see a lot of the, the, the side stuff, the backstage promos. I don't see the, some of the matches. They cut all that shit out um, on Hulu. So number one, I'm not even seeing the whole show. Number two, I'll be honest with you, a lot of the times when wrestling's on, I'm doing other stuff. Like, I don't just sit there hyper-focused taking notes because i got to do a, a podcast about this later this week or anything. So for me, I'm kind of I'm a fan who enjoys pro wrestling. I like watching the, not only the main shows, but I like watching things like 205 Live, um, NXT and NXT UK, etc. I, I was watching the Worlds Collide special event that they had on WWE Network uh, from back at WrestleMania time when all the different brands crossed over and had this, this fun show. Um, but I don't take it seriously. I don't have a top wrestler right now. I don't have a guy who I, you know, I hate the most. Uh, I don't think about it in those terms. I don't. I just watch it for, for like, relaxation purposes, and I don't really have an opinion on it. Yeah, I agree certain things are stupid and certain things aren't. Yeah, I thought that Kofi Kingston winning the title at WrestleMania was awesome. I think that Seth Rollins finally getting the title from Lesnar was awesome. I think that Becky Lynch going over in the, in the main event was awesome. But I'm not I'm going to sit here and analyze everything and micro-analyze like I used to. You know what I mean? Those days... At one point, those days, made, it made sense for me to do that. I, I don't feel like that anymore. So, there you go, Aragorio. Uh, Mr. Papa Vera did a couple cheers. He said, I just finished. I sent you a link to your Twitter explaining villages. Thanks. I, I, at this point, I'm not going to read it now. But when we get there, I hope you'll give me some of that information. And yes, you did send me stuff on the Illagers. I read all that. I read everything about the Pillagers that you sent. Including the, the five enemy class types, or was it four? Four or five enemy class types, and how you dug under the tower to get in, which was kind of really smart. I don't know if I'll do that or not. I might just try to go head in with a bow and arrow, my infinite bow and arrow, and see if I can take the guys out. But thank you, Mr. Papavera, for all that work. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to get you up on the leaderboard, because you are the only cheerer so far tonight. So let's get you there and get credit. There you go, sir. Also... M5NSX tipped me $5. That makes him the top tipper of the night. He says, keep up the good work. Just finished a Resident Evil 2 remake. And your clear second run playthrough helped me a lot. Yeah, dude, dude, that shit is tough. No lie. That clear run I did on that hard-ass difficulty, hardest difficulty I played it on, that's very difficult. Like, you need to dodge a ton. You need to know which zombies you have to fight and which zombies you have to, like, run by. 
Um, it is very tough. So I'm happy to hear that my, you know, going through that because it was difficult for me and it wasn't necessarily super fun. I'm happy to hear that it helped you out because whew, that was an ordeal for me. Thank you very much for the tip. You're the top tipper of the night. All right. So here's the thing. If I'm going to head out on an epic journey to pillage at the village, what I need to do is get the correct items in my inventory. Now, I know for a fact I'm going to need a bucket of milk. I know that much. And I have a bucket of milk in my inventory. I'm going to take two. All right. That way I have it. I'm going to get rid of the bucket of water for now. I'm going to get rid of this shitty regular bow. I don't even know why I have it. I'm going to go put that in my inventory. Here's my good bow. This is what I need for combat, basically. So I'm going to toss that right into my inventory right now. It would help to have a couple more shitty pickaxes if I want to dig under the tower to get to the pillagers. I'm not exactly sure I'm going to want to, but just in case. And it's always good to have cobblestone just in case. Sticks just in case, right? These things just in case. Um, I don't know why I have this bow. Maybe, maybe an enemy had dropped it. So let me get rid of this bow. Um, another thing that I want to do, I've learned my lesson. I want to take a fishing rod. Now, this is not my best fishing rod, but this is still a good fishing rod. This is the one that I was using for a while. Just in case it starts to freaking rain, I can get a fishing rod. You know what I mean? Like, that way I don't have to worry about that shit. What I should also probably do is make more torches. Yeah, it's, that's torches, coal, and a stick, right? Because, uh, I only have ten left, and I want to be sure to have enough. So... Madara's got to see this is what chill streams are for to be able to ask my opinion on things like WWE, etc. I know I agree. Like tonight, this stream, even though yeah, I'll be focusing on the pillager stuff, um, the whole point is to be relaxed. You know what I mean? Like, and that's cool. Oh, I also want to make stone axes. How many do I want to make? I'll make four stone axes. There you go. Now I'll get this stuff out of my inventory. All right, I think I'm sufficiently ready now. I got all the essentials that I might need, I think. And I got some good inventory space. If I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight with my bow and arrow. It's nighttime now, so I'll go to sleep. This will be good. I'll set off on an epic journey. Okay, I got food. Mr. Provera cheered again. He said, I would bring good armor. Milk isn't a bad idea. If you can craft a golden apple, I do that. Illagers are fast. I can overwhelm you if they catch you off guard. Thing is, I only have one golden apple. So, I don't know if I want to take it out with me. Just the risk factor involved of losing it, you know. I think we're good. I got food. I got a bed, you know. I think I've got all the essentials that I'm going to need. I think we're good to go. Uh, Billing Boot Chop says, do you think you could do a backflip if you could practice? I mean, could I? Yeah, but I'm not going to because I would hurt my back. And that would be pretty bad considering I have a bad back, right? Mr. Bravera says, make two golden apples. I don't know how to make a golden apple. I found one. Um, yeah, Super Blind Man Joke. He says, well, Phil, your Minecraft world looks exactly the same as it did last time I looked at it. Because he's blind. He can't see it. Of course. All righty. Jackie Swerve says, last night chat was pretty toxic. I'm glad to have the fun chill stream back for tonight for Minecraft. Yeah, it was a bunch of assholes last night. They were trolling. As I played Phoenix Wright, they were trying to troll and distract all of us from fucking Phoenix Wright, which was really stupid. Of all the streams to do that in, like, Phoenix Wright is the dumbest one. Because I really wasn't paying much attention to it at all. Just a bunch of assholes. Nothing you can do about it, though. Uh, I did see the new Spider-Man trailer Madara has got. I didn't see it with audio. I just watched the visuals of it on Twitter, but I did see it, so. Gold apple is nuggets and an apple? Huh. Boy, Chops says, if I did have a bad back, I could do a backflip with practice. I mean, yeah, anything's possible. If I didn't have a bad back and I could do a lot of physical activity, then I could probably do it. Why not? Mr. Papa Vera cheered again. He said, no, not the enchanted golden apple. You craft regular golden apples. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't think I even have an enchanted golden apple. I just have a regular golden apple. I didn't know you could craft them at all. I thought, you know. Uh, Samson just hit me a dollar and said, a wise man once said, yowie wowie. Well, Yowie Zowie Wowie uh, says the new Bray Wyatt. Which I wonder if that's what they're going to call him. The new Bray Wyatt. <laughs> but thank you for the dollar tip. So I think we're just going to hit land and start heading northeast. Maybe go to some of these uncharted areas and see what's on them. 
Golden carrots are better. I have not seen a single carrot yet in my Minecraft world. I've been playing this on and off weekly, at least, since December. So you're talking, shit, 13, 14 sessions? You know, and each session is at least two hours, so you're talking 20, 30 hours? I have not seen a single carrot in the game yet. <laughs> I haven't found one. Alright, so straight ahead here. I am not mapped yet. I think I'll run over there and see what's there. And then we'll head northeast, which is where I know the, the pillagers are. Okay. Oh, Slipper, yes, we will like complete Mega Man X3. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll go back and I'll try to beat every single unfinished game I've never finished, but it ain't gonna be today. Oh, the dolphin <laughs> beat yourself with them went back in. Very nice. Hello, sheep. Sheepy, sheepy. So what do we got? Nothing much here. It's pretty much, uh, pretty boring and empty. Yeah. Nothing really of any, uh, of anything to note. Here, I'll quote a game that I played before I ever did YouTube videos to human. Nothing of import detected. And you'd ask another question, and he'd say, nothing of import detected. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually here actually played Two Human. That game apparently was a train wreck. It was stuck in development hell for a million years. When it came out, people didn't like it. I actually liked it because it was like the ultimate chill game. Once you leveled up enough, you could just go through grinding and killing like five million generic enemies and not really pay much attention. So what I would do is I would have my drink. Back then, I used to drink rum and coke almost every night because, like I said, I drank way too much back when I was younger. And I would sit there grinding in that game, getting level after level after level after level after level after level. After level. And getting all the abilities and trying to get all the tr all the achievements on Xbox 360. That was one of my chill game. My my before I ever streamed or recorded, that was one of my chill games. You know, Shadow Lover said, "What's the hardest thing to do in Minecraft that looks easy?" I would say it's not hard anymore. When you start, it's hard because you don't know what you're doing, and in particular, if you don't have like good armor and 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 good you know way to have uh, food so that you can infinitely live without hunger, you don't have a good house set up, it's tough to survive because at night all the monsters come out to screw with you. But, in essence, once you get to that point where you basically get past that, that initial hurdle of the first maybe 5 to 10 hours, then it's not hard at all. It's pretty easy. Oh my god, it's time for a bottle crunch! Okay. Oh! There we go. Ultimate bottle crunch. Why did I drink while gaming? That would put me to sleep, said Warren Poo. Because back then, like, see, here's the thing. Now when I game, right, it's a little bit more serious. I'll be honest. Though, like, tonight, this isn't a super serious stream or whatever. We're just kind of hanging out while I play Minecraft. Not a big deal. But back then, like, gaming to me was not serious at all. It was just a thing that I did in my free time. And I would have a hard day at work. I would come home and want to relax. So I'd have a, a drink while I'm just grinding or playing in a, in a game. And that's kind of how I approached it back then. You know, I played a lot of grindy style games. Tales of, uh, Tales, uh, uh not Exilia, Tales of Symphonia. That was it. Um, was it, wait, was it Tales of Symphonia? I think it was. Tales of Symphonia and, I need to start heading northeast. And, um, Lost, uh, Lost Odyssey, Infinite Undiscovery. Blue Dragon. I used to play JRPGs at length and, like, do super grindy shit. Like, I always tried to fight the super bosses at the end of the game. Even if it required grinding for, like, endless amounts of time, I would still try to do it. Because it was just relaxing for me. It wasn't about, oh my god, super serious gameplay where I have to beat a super difficult game. It was more about just, like, killing time and relaxing, you know? <laughs> Not Tales of Symphonia. Which one was it? It was a t Oh, Tales of Vesperia. That's what it is. Tales of Vesperia. That was the one that I played. And I really, really liked it. I really thought it was great. Tales of uh, Vesperia. Yeah. Not Symphonia. I started Symphonia. And I ended up dropping it. <laughs> mm. 
So if I just keep heading northeast, I should find this pillager outpost and new village. Because that's where it was. It was directly northeast from, from my home. Off the map. So as long as I stick around this area and I generally head northeast, I should run into it. What? If a fan were to make a DSP game, what genre would it be? I have no idea. A sim, I guess. A sim, a sim game. Right? Or a fighting game would be cool. I don't know if you would want to play me in a fighting game, though. I don't know what my style would be like. <laughs> Maybe if I get over this mountain, I'll be able to see better. Because right now I'm so down low, I can't see shit. A Soulsborn game? Oh, God. A DSP Soulsborn game. Big waterfall coming down this mountain. Okay. Climb the mountain. Climb, 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 climb. I'm gonna get up as high as possible, and then I'll look down and see if I can find the pillager outpost. Probably not, but... What's up, Super Flash? I'm ready for another chill Minecraft stream. Daggy's first up, what about a survival horror game? Oh my god. Let's go all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Well, I don't believe it's that direction. I believe I gotta keep heading northeast. We are don't we appear to be far enough yet. I see a mushroom top. That's a good sign, if I remember correctly. Head this way. If I remember correctly. I was seeing those mushrooms around the same area where I was see I saw found the pillager outpost. Let's see here. Yeah, Hobo X, I stopped Symphonia because basically number one people were not coming out for it. They just weren't digging it. They were thinking they said it was too outdated of a game. And, you know, not that they didn't like me play JRPGs, but it just seemed like it was such an older game that it didn't really translate into a modern stream. That was number one. Um, number two, uh, you're right. What happened was I played it for, like, a few sessions, but then new games started to come out. And as the new games started to come out, people wanted me to play them. I was like, damn, well, this kind of sucks. So I just, like, you know what? I put it on hold, and I ended up never getting back to it. So... I guess we're going to sleep. Might as well. Let's get him to take a nap. Let's take a nap. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Ugh. So, we're going to have to descend, and i got to keep heading northeast. Where am I right now? That's due east. I need to kind of head northeast. I know it's generally this direction, this way. Keep heading. Like I said, I know it was the northeastern portion of the map. Oh, God. Oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. Look at that. It's cool. A brown llama, right? Or is that umpaca? El or alpaca. Not umpaca, an alpaca, right? Yo, Chanel Lover says, what throwback game would you like to play? I, I'll play Greatest Auto San Andreas to beat it, which I have not done yet. Man, I don't know. To me, like, there's a lot of games that I would like to do throwback playthroughs of. You know? Um, and I'm honestly not 100% on what game it would be if I were to do a throwback playthrough right now. I don't know. <laughs> BB Chungus asks, 
What did you first think of Minecraft? What do you think about it now? Well, before I ever played it, I was a, a, an ignorant moron who basically said that the game was terrible and anyone who liked it is a dumb kid. And that was completely incorrect. That was just stupidity on my part, saying dumb shit like that. Um, you know, and I'll openly admit that, that that's my fault, that I was very... I was very close-minded, very pig-headed and stupid. And I said a lot of dumb shit back in the day when I first started on YouTube. The bottom line is I didn't take it seriously. Like, when I was doing YouTube back in the day, I didn't. I didn't take it like, oh, I have a following on YouTube. And when I say dumb shit like that, people will take it as fact. And then they'll get, you know, they'll get insulted. And, you know, take it personally. I thought, who cares what I say on the internet, right? Like, I'm nobody. And, you know, no one should give a shit. But in reality, you know, that wasn't the case. In reality, a lot of the things that I said and did on the internet back then did have an impact on people, uh, both positive and negative. And I realize that now, but I didn't know that back then. So I, oh, Minecraft's a game just for dumb kids, and if you play it, you're an idiot. You know, Notch is a moron for making such a piece of shit game. He's a lucky asshole. No one should be playing that game. It gets way too much recognition. That's the kind of stuff I used to say. Now... What I'll tell you is, I can understand, after having played this game at length with an interactive audience for an extended period of time, I can tell you I totally understand and get people who love it so much. I mean, just the incredible amount of stuff there is in the game to do, and the variety in the biomes, the variety in the worlds, right? Like everything! There's so much going on in Minecraft, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, this is the basic survival mode that I've played over the past few, you know, several months, and immerse myself in it every once or twice a week. But there's so much more to it that you can do. So I kind of get it now. And I kind of wish that I I felt that way differently about it. You know, and gave it a chance. Because the thing is, when I formulated my opinion on it, it wasn't based on facts. It was based on ignorance and, and bias. I didn't actually, I hadn't actually played the game. How can you hate on a game you never played, right? Now compare that to Fortnite. That's a game that I played at launch. That's a game that I played about four months after launch. That's a game that I played when it was all hyped up and all the little kitties were fucking playing it. I have even won a game in Fortnite. And I can wholeheartedly tell you, I fucking hate it. I think the game sucks. I do. I think the game stinks. You know? And that's based on my personal experience of me playing it and having reasons behind it. Not because, oh, I'm a dumb, ignorant idiot who's just talking out of his butt, you know? But anyway, yeah, so I definitely think my opinions on Minecraft have changed over the, over the, not only over the years, but just me not playing it, you know, for a little while here and seeing what it has to offer. I think it's pretty fun. BB Chilgis says, would I have played Fortnite if, it, if I was in high school and it came out? I mean, more than likely, I definitely would have tried it, especially if everyone in school was playing it too. I would have definitely given it a shot. Um... I don't know if I significantly, sort of significantly played it at length. Like I said, I really don't like that style of game. I don't like that. I'll build in Minecraft, but I'll build to build a house. I don't want to build on the fly some fucking tower to bounce on a pad and try to fly over so I can shoot you cheaply in the back. Yeah, that's stupid. I don't like that at all. I want a pure FPS game or not a pure shoot, third-person shooter game. I don't want a game with gimmicks and shit. Ugh. Oh, my God. All right, so I got a question for everybody. I don't know if any of you were diligent enough to do this and help me out. Last time when I played, I had the... I did have these coordinates enabled. And when I saw the pillager outpost, do you guys remember the coordinates? Can someone look up the coordinates? And tell me, what were the coordinates when I saw the pillager outpost? Because that will allow me to find them. I'm in the general area right now. I know I am. But I remember I was fighting the witch in this area. I believe I was in an area that was a little bit even more marshy than this. And I fought the witch. And then I was coming back to base and I ran into the pillager outpost. So if someone could actually look up the coordinates, I could just head straight there. That would help us and save time rather than me wandering in circles, right? You know. 364, negative 2,448. Really? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Thank you. Let's head that way. Mr. Papa Bear just cheered. And he said, In villages you're looking for villagers with good trades and items you want. Oh, fuck! I forgot the emeralds! Oh, no. I forgot the emeralds and I forgot the wheat.
Okay, so anyway, Mr. Papa Bear says, In villages, you're looking for villagers with good trades and items you want. Items that you would need for recipes that you use often. Valuable items are rare, like mending books. Remember where they are and keep them safe by building defenses around the village, making a way to travel there quickly, or move the villager to your home. He then she says, It's okay, the villagers, you can trade for emeralds. So, we'll see. Let's, let's, I gotta get there. Alright, so 300. I'm being told 300. So, first, let's just walk due, due west. What was it again, guys? It was 363 and what? Negative 2448. So further this way. Oh, f what the sh- I fell in a hole. Right, I'm going to try to get the 300 first. Then we'll worry about the 2448. This place is a complicated mess. Look at this. A nightmare to get through. Talk about dense. Good God, man. Get me out of here. Lift me up so I can get the fuck out of here. Shit. Oh, my God. I gotta waste all these blocks. Not to say I can't get more easily, but... What the fuck? What the? Come on! Ah! No! All right, I'm on my way. Jesus. That was a pain in the butt. What's up, BL Raven Wizard? How you guys doing, man? How's it going? Mm. Alright, so once I get the 300, then I can start heading towards negative 2400 or whatever it was. I found it! Very nice, guys. Thanks for the help. I got an anonymous dollar tip asking what happened with me and drunken peasants. Oh, it's very simple. The deal is that they wanted me on their show. And at first they actually, I'll tell you the full story. At first they actually wanted me to go and to their studio, which is located, I think they said it was Bellevue, Washington. I'm not 100%. But they actually invited me in person to their studio. They wanted to play some Street Fighter and talk about games and talk about my stuff on the internet and everything. You know, they wanted to have a discussion about all that stuff. And at first, I considered it. I thought, you know what? This might be this might be a good idea, something different. Something to expose myself to a new audience. Um, I know that they have a, a dedicated audience of viewers. Because the podcast has been around for a long time. And I thought, you know, it's kind of convenient that they're here. Um, is that the village out in the background right there? I think it is. I think it is. So I was considering going on their show. And I was in talks with them for a little bit, back and forth, about it. And I'm going to sleep now because I'm not going to fucking fight these guys now uh, during nighttime. Okay? <clears throat> well, ultimately we talked back and forth. And my concern, alright, was that if I went on their show, that I heard that they have a lot of trolls that watch their show. Okay? Which is fine, whatever. You roll with it. They, they, they actually do their show on YouTube. Not on Twitch. So, when they stream, their stream chat is, like, uncontrollable. You can't even moderate stream chat properly on YouTube because it's not real. It's not like a Twitch stream chat. On YouTube, it's just a running list of comments. And good luck trying to moderate any fucking thing on there. Alright. So, ultimately what happened is... Yeah, I swear I heard a monster or something. Ultimately what happened is, we were a couple weeks away from doing it. And... I had talked a little bit about on my show, on my streams that I might be on their show, and people were basically telling me, don't do it. They were like, Phil, you don't seem to understand. That show is uncontrollable. When people go on there, it's an open forum. People get attacked, and, you know, not to say that they won't try to protect you, but 
You already have enough trolling, more than enough trolling in your life. By going on their show, you're basically just setting yourself up for more punishment. By the way, there's a guy right there. Right? They're basically saying, yeah, you're just setting yourself up for way more punishment. Because all you're going to do is attract a new group of trolls who, by the way, when they troll on their show, they won't be able to stop them. So they'll be going in there spamming your personal information in the stream chat. They'll be going in there talking about your girlfriend. They'll be going in there doing all kinds of disgusting, nasty shit. And regardless of the people on the show wanting to talk about it or not, it's going to be completely uncontrolled. So I actually talked to them about it. And I was like, listen, guys, like, I really, I'm not feeling this is a safe environment for me. Not particularly just for me, but like, what if they go and they start insulting my girlfriend or bringing stuff up from her past that's personal shit that has nothing to do with anything with me? You know, what if... Can I hit this guy? I don't think he sees me. Now he sees me. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? Did you see that? I don't know. All right, anyway. So, ultimately, it came down to a discussion of, if I were to be on this show, this podcast, The Drunken Peasants, all right, and nothing negative about them guys at all, because I don't think there's is, is anything negative to say about them um, at all. You know, what would happen if I were to be on there and the whole show, all it was was people being negative dicks to myself, to my girlfriend, and all... Huh? That was a pillager captain? That apparently was a pillager captain. I had no idea. What was he doing out patrolling around here? He got fucked up. <laughs> wow. Someone said open your inventory to see what the status effect is. I, I don't know. I don't see anything. Right? So anyway, the way I was thinking of it was this. If I go on the show, right, potentially what would happen? Okay, maybe they have 1,000 viewers. And out of those 1,000 viewers, half those viewers come and check out a stream or two of mine. And I get a small handful of, of people who maybe want to watch my content. So there was, there was the potential for a positive benefit. Absolutely, there was potential for a positive benefit being on their podcast. And honestly, I do feel like they would have been fair. I don't think they would have sat there trolling me or attacking me. Considering they had actually invited me in person to go out to their studio and everything. I think they just wanted to chill and hang out and meet someone who was a YouTube, a longtime YouTuber and a streamer who had, you know, been in the business for a long time and just by chance lived really close to them, right? But ultimately, the fuck is that? I think that's one of the iron golems, isn't it? Ultimately, I turned them down. And the reason I turned them down was I thought, what's going to end up happening in reality is you're going to have people on there. Well, Daki Swerve, back then she was considered my girlfriend. She was actually my fiance, and now she's my wife. But back then, I was telling them she's my girlfriend, okay? So, ultimately, what I was afraid would happen is instead of the intended positive impact that I was looking for, that it would do the opposite. It would backfire and would have these people come in to now join in the fucking trolling. And instead of having people coming to my streams to be positive and support, it would instead be just a bunch of people coming in extra to troll the shit out of me constantly. And I don't need that. I have enough. We have enough problems, you know, trying to be positive and have fun together on streams to not have to deal with added trolling and added shit. You know what I mean? Like, we just... My viewers don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. For what? So we can get a few extra viewers on a couple streams? That shit ain't worth it. You see what I mean? So... The fuck? There's nobody here. Oh, hold on. There's no one here. Holy shit. Bottle of enchanting. Potatoes. I don't need potatoes. I guess I could take the wheat to trade. I doubt that the villagers are going to want to trade for this. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, I guess. That was a shitty chest. Except for the bottle of enchanting. I don't know exactly what that does. Um. So, in reality. Alright. In reality. 
the drunken peasant show could have gone really well or could have gone poorly. It really could have. The thing was, the other thing you guys got to realize is that I literally knew. There's a new village. We're going to check that out in just a moment. I knew that I needed to try to raise funds for my taxes immediately after that podcast. And I didn't want to deal with any additional negativeness and trolling in my streams at that time. Because I knew that I needed the streams to be controllable for said fundraising purposes. I couldn't now chance, oh, I go on the Drunken Peasants. Now my streams are out of control for two months with the new people coming in and trolling and doing all kinds of fucked up shit. I couldn't chance it. You know what I mean? Um, so I didn't want to deal with it. Um, and that's ultimately, ultimately what it was. Now, I told them that in an email. I was like, sorry, guys, you know, at this point, I, I don't think that we should do it because I'm too afraid about trolling potentially against my, my girlfriend which is what you guys thought she was my fiance at the time or whatever, or, you know, anything else like that. Um, but then they ended up coming to my streams because I guess they didn't think that def that was the definitive answer when in reality it was. So then I, I emailed them again. And I was like, sorry, you know, if you didn't feel that that was a definitive answer, but no, I'm not coming on your show for now. So, and that was it. That's where we left it. So that's that. Um, hold on. We got a lot of people to give shout outs to before we continue. So Josh tipped me a dollar since you forgot the Emerald 7 and the weed. I don't even know what you're talking about. Third Eye the Third tipped me five dollars and says, I was watching one of my favorite streamers today. They were wa watching a random video about you. The streamer is a scientist. Debated your haters in chat. Gotta say she made good points. Swaggins was there shitting on you. I agreed with her. Are you surprised? Um, but anyway, great. Sounds good. Thank you for the tip, Third Eye the Third. Um, Mr. Papavera cheered. He says, if you want to make emeralds, look for sugar cane to make paper. You can trade a lot of paper with a cartographer and get some meat from animals to trade with the butcher. And wheat with the farmer. That overly you saw you're given a bad omen. You should have the voluntary exile. I would drink milk before going to a village. That's what I need to do. That's why I brought the milk with me. I definitely don't want to start a raid. Go walking into the village. I'm going to fight gauntlets of enemies. That would not be good. Uh, Horizon tipped me $3. And says, keep up the good work. Looking to seeing more future content. I ignore trolls and don't let them get to you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Papa Vera cheered. He said, nice job infiltrating the tower. Careful, though, because illagers will spawn near the tower. The bottle of enchanting, you can throw at your feet and it gives you XP, so you can use it now or save it. I'll save it. I don't want a chance doing it now and then losing it later or whatever. Um, M5NSX tipped me another dollar. Says, are you planning to head into Seattle to watch Jacques Decoq's upcoming major league debut? Have you ever been to a pro sporting event in Washington State? The answer is no, I have not. The only pro sporting events I ever went to were in Connecticut, uh, not Connecticut, New York, excuse me, and they were uh, Mets games at Chase Stadium. Uh, ben Boxer cheered and said, Say the people you were att attractive to Twitch was four trolls to one new fan. You would still benefit and your mods would still take care of the trolls. I disagree. Like, you guys don't understand. It was so important to me that I knew I had to do these marathon events to raise funds for my taxes. I needed to do that. If I didn't do that, I would have been completely out of luck and completely shot and had no way to even proceed in life. Like, I was fucked financially. So I knew I needed to have a, a few, you know, kind of marathon streams that were very successful I could not chance having increased troll activity I couldn't do it you know so it is what it is it is what it is all right so let's see that's three four five six seven eight nine ten dollars in additional tips thank you guys I'm just gonna round up I'm gonna say 20 bucks because I don't want to have 50 cents on here so we're gonna say 20 bucks in tips thank you everybody for your contributions so far tonight um in reality I don't think anyone went above 50 bits no, so it's actually... Oh, wait, I think that... No, yeah, no. Wait. Almighty Turban actually had done a 55-bit cheer and said, your chill streams help me sleep. Thanks, Phil. All right, let me let me actually get Almighty Turban up there. 55-bit cheer. He's technically the top uh, cheerer of the night. There we go. All right, it's time to sleep, and then I should drink the milk. Or should I drink the milk first? I guess I'll drink the milk first. How did I drink it? There we go. I drank it. Oops. And now I'll sleep. Sleep in the fucking outpost. Super Flash said 100-bit cheer. He said, loving the stream question. Would you appear on a reality TV show if you were paid good money? Um, it would depend on what the, sh the TV show is in general. I do not like reality TV. Um, 
most times. The few exceptions, like the Gordon Ramsay shows I like, but at the same time, there's no way I would ever participate in them. I'd probably lose my fucking mind. Um, but, you know, like, I was, I was offered to be on Ultimate Gamer back in the day. They wanted me to be on one of the earlier seasons. I don't know exactly which season it was, but it was definitely one of the earlier seasons. Um, there's a crafting table here. Huh. Go figure. And uh, I turned them down. I didn't want to be on it. I said, I don't want to be part of that stupid drama show. Most reality TV is just drama for the sake of drama, right? Should I, should I let, uh, should I let this guy out here? I don't know. Should I let him out? I don't know. This is one of the Iron Golems, isn't he? I think he is. Free the Golem? Hello. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You piece of shit. That motherfucker. He tried to get me. You son of a bitch. The fucking skeleton stuck up on me, man. You little tricky dick. He saw I was trying to free the Iron Golem. He tried to kill me. Oh, shit. A villager. A wandering villager right there. Is that the one that's the vendor? I think he is. But he's not moving. I want to talk to this villager dude. Oh shit! Here he comes. Oh, where's he going? Oh, the, 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 the thing's uh, making a noise. Is this, isn't this the vendor yeah. dude? Yeah, look. What would you have given me? You would have given me a lot of shit, huh? I don't have any emeralds though. Sucks. I don't even know what that is. That looks cool. What the fuck is that? <laughs> You would give me some seeds or something I probably don't have. I don't even know what this is, dude. I want. I, I need emeralds. I need emeralds to trade with this fucking guy. I gotta go get some. Uh. So anyway, Super Flash. Nah, I, more than likely I wouldn't be on a reality TV show unless the only thing is if they were offering to pay me good money, where it would, it would be economical for me to not be streaming during the time I was on the show then maybe I would consider it. And if it was something I was interested in doing, that made sense. Not just some random show to make money. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. That's where they are. The pillagers are stuck in a lake. Look at this. What the fuck? They're stuck in a fucking lake. What the holy hell? They're so stupid. Wow. Well, while they're doing that, I'll get Super Flash up on the leaderboard. That is hilarious. Oh. That's the randomness of Minecraft, seriously. Sometimes you just get lucky. Okay. Badass games to be a dollar. So before you end Minecraft, please upload your world to the public service so fans who have Xbox can explore your world in a single player. Did you ever make public the world on your first run? Uh, one last thing. I vouch for cost for being a mod. Um, no, I never made it public. You can, I don't think. But I could, I believe you're right. I could upload it to the servers, I think. This guy's not dying. Finally. Well, I killed the pillagers. Let's see what they dropped. Because now I can't get out. That's why they couldn't get out. Unlike me, they can't mine, right? They were infinitely stuck. 
Mr. Papa Vera says, you might have got lucky. The Wandering Trader has obsidian, heart of the sea, vines, and not sure I saw what else was there. Yeah, dude. She's like, you got a lot of good shit. I need to find, uh, I need to trade for emeralds in this town. And, and go back to the Wandering Trader. Hopefully he'll still be stuck there. By the way, I don't want these. <sighs> Did I, get, I didn't get anything from that. Just experience. I didn't get anything else. Perhaps this village will have carrots. That'd be excellent. Alright, let's check out this new village. Completely redesigned from the ground up. They have a water fountain. That's cool. This place is neat now. Look, the villages actually make sense. They're, they're interesting. I wonder who lives here. Someone house. They're not home. I saw a guy go in here. Hello? Where did he go? Maybe not. Maybe he was walking by and I missed him. Where the hell is everybody? I want to interact with the villagers, but I don't see any. They're hiding from me. They're afraid. To... Well, shit. I took the goddamn plunge. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Look, they have nice staircases now that work. An enchanting room. Look at this. Yeah, second floor balcony. This guy's got a nice house. Oops. I think I should put that away. I was going to say, I put that away so I don't shoot an arrow and kill someone by accident. Where the hell are all the villagers at? Where did they go? They all ran. I don't know why they ran away. I only saw one and he was booking it. No one wants to talk to me, apparently. Here's a friggin', uh... Is this, like, supposed to be an anvil or something? You can repair and disenchant stuff here. Okay. Iron horse armor. I'll take that. A bonus iron chest plate? I guess I'll take that. Okay. It's a grindstone? Okay, I didn't know it was a grindstone. Are those carrots? They're red. What the fuck is that? A red plant. I've never seen that before. I gotta get over there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Save patches for the villagers to get back to my house? I don't know how to do that. Oh, shit. Look, look where they're living. Dude, they're the most dangerous part of the map. They're at the they're village at the edge of a fucking dangerous ravine. They could fall in at any moment and die. This is terrible. What are they? What the fuck is this? A beetroot? What the fuck is a beetroot? I got a brand new thing called a beetroot. I've never seen this before. Golden Cult says I should build a bridge over that. A fun project to do. Alright. Palm Primus, you're trying to start crap. I don't care. So you're going to get timed out. And if you keep it up, you're going to get banned. No one wants to hear you talk shit about stupid shit. Get out of here. Okay. That's right. Camaro656 says, oh man, that crevice is so dangerous to their well-being and then I steal all their food. You know, that's right. You know, the food will grow back. You know, their life will not. If they fall off that ravine, they ain't coming back. So, from what Mr. Papa Vera had said, this is a bell. 
that if you ring it, the villagers will all come to the village to take cover? Because they'll be afraid that, like, they're getting pillaged. It's becoming nighttime, and apparently the villagers are supposed to come back and go to sleep at night? Where the fuck are they? Ring the bell. What the fuck? Where did all the villagers go? Oh my god. The doctor says they probably all died from falling into that fucking ravine. They're all dead. The whole village is empty. So the game generated a village and then had them all walk off the edge and die. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, you've got to be joking. They're all dead. It's a fucking ghost town. Come on. Come on. Oh shit, there's a fucking Enderman. What the hell? Why is there a fucking Enderman here? What the shit? I don't want to fight an Enderman. I can't believe they're all dead. I did see one. I saw one guy walking over here. And, I, and he disappeared. I never saw him again. He was over here somewhere. Well, I'm sleeping. God damn.